All right, so we have a problem involving two pipes and a pool. So we're given that pipe A takes five hours to fill the pool on its own, and pipe B takes four hours to fill the pool on its own, and we want to find out how long it will take to fill up the pool if both pipe A and pipe B are working together. Now I'm going to be honest, this problem is pretty hard. You know, when we're looking at things individually, it seems fine, but then all of a sudden when we have multiple objects working together or multiple objects performing a task at the same time, it becomes a little confusing because it feels like there's too much going on. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on each pipe individually at first. What do I mean by that? Well, let's take a look at pipe A first. If pipe A takes five hours to fill the pool on its own, let's see how much of the pool it fills up in one hour. Well, in one hour, it would fill up a fifth of the pool. If it fills up a fifth of the pool in one hour, then in five hours, it will fill up an entire pool. Similarly, pipe B fills up a fourth of the pool in one hour. So when both of them are on and working together, they're filling up the pool at a total rate of just these two rates added together. So this total is how much of the pool both pipe A and pipe B fill together in one hour. So in two hours, they would fill two times this. In three hours, they would fill up three times this. So if we now let X be the total amount of time that it takes for the two pipes to fill the pool, we see that in X hours, X times this expression will tell us how much of the pool is filled up. Now, what should this be set equal to is the big question. Well, let's take a look at our previous examples. Pipe A fills a fifth of the pool in one hour, and it's on for five hours. And that fills up one entire pool. Pipe B fills at a rate of a fourth of the pool, and it's on for four hours, and that's how long it takes to fill one pool. So we see that when they're both on, x times 1 over 5 plus 1 over 4 should be set equal to 1. You can view this as one entire pool, or more precisely, this is actually representing 100% of the work done. So if we want to find out how long it would take both pipes to fill 50% of the pool, we would set this equal to 0 0.5. If we want to find out how long it would take both pipes to fill 75% of the pool, we would set it equal to 0 0.75. But now from here, it's just become an algebra problem. So we see that solving for x is not the hard part. The hard part is actually setting this up. But now, hopefully, you understand how we did set this up. So when we solve, we can simplify this expression inside to be equal to 9 over 20. 
and of course that's equal to 1. So then we see that x is actually equal to 20 over 9. which is approximately two and two ninths hours, which is around two hours and 13 minutes. Now we can do a final check to make sure this answer makes sense. If pipe A takes five hours to fill the pool on its own, Pipe B takes four hours. Well, if both pipes are working together, it should take less time. So we can be pretty confident that our answer of two and two ninths hours is correct.